Hi, this is Joanne Fink for Sakura, and there's a trend that I've been following and am modeling called ombre. Ombre is the word that means gradation. And I've been doing gradation in my work for many years, and I've discovered a fast and easy way that you can do ombre too, and I'm going to show you how. So let's color. Ombre is not only fun and beautiful, it's really easy. You need only two tools, a koi color brush and a water brush. I use the water brush a lot. Let me show you how it works. First, you take this little black piece of plastic off of the barrel so you can fill the barrel with water. Do not lose this because you'll want to put it back when you're done painting. Then you take the brush and you put it on top and you screw it counterclockwise onto the barrel. And then you can take the lid off. Don't lose the lid either. And because there's water already in the barrel, when you squeeze it, you can see the water is coming out the tip of the brush. Now the Koi color brushes come in a wide variety of colors. And this is one of my favorites. It's called Cerulean Blue. And to do an ombre, all I do is I start by putting down some marker. Then I take my water brush and all I'm doing is squeezing the water and letting the water get down to where it's clear. If you want, you can go back and smooth that out so that you're getting a more even progression. That's it, easy ombre. And the question is, once you're done, what can you do with it? I've taken the liberty of preparing one that's already dry. I'm going to make this into a card by using the Pen Touch Extra Fine Silver and just writing a simple thank you. You can just use your handwriting for this. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. If you want, you can go back and add a little bit of weight onto some of the letters, or you can just leave it. Either way is fine. Since I like to letter, I often like to add weight. But that's it. Now what I'll do is I can cut this down and fold it and send it. And that's an easy thank you note. So that is a quick ombre project. And just to let you know, these are some other ombre examples. This one just went from one color into water. And this one was a blend of two different colors with the water in between so that you gradated from the first color into the second color. And there's a little bit more intensity in the second color. Let me show you, once you've mastered the ombre technique, something that you can do with it, which is to do some real quick illustrations. I've already done two petals, and now I'm just very quickly putting some color in the third petal, and then I switch to my water brush. Anytime you're doing watercolor, it's best to work on a paper that's designed for that medium. This is Kansan 90-pound watercolor paper. I did two different techniques here. I did the same technique as the flower on this side where I put all the color at the top and went down with the water. These are two different shades of green. And here I put the color across and then I took the water down. So let me show you this one. I'm just going to go along the vein line of the leaf and then I'm switching over to my water brush. So as you can see, it's very easy to put down a line with your Koi coloring brush and use the water brush to gradate it and you have a beautiful picture. Let me show you how the card turned out. 
here it is, our beautiful thank you note with the gradation on the front and back. And I'll say thank you for watching and have fun doing easy ombre.